Dimensions, extensions, notes, symbols, and other details can be added to live elevations, cross sections, and interior elevations in the new annotated mode. When the elevation has been generated from the mode selector, simply select annotated mode. Dimensions detailing the top of roof, top of plate, and other key elevations will automatically be called off. Dimensions and extensions can both be added to the annotated elevation for callouts of common dimensions, overhangs, and anything else that might be pertinent to the final elevation. In this case, zooming in, selecting single extension, and clicking on the overhang running a dimension from the edge of wall to the extension line will allow for that dimension to be shown. Additionally, overview, detail, and speed notes can be added to the annotated elevation. By selecting detail note, clicking in the area where the note is to be added, simply type into the display screen what the note needs to read. Selecting OK, the note will be added and can then be moved into position. Once again, a detail note can be added by clicking on the screen, the note input exactly as it needs to read, select OK, and have the note added to the annotated elevation. Once the note has been added, the next thing to do would be to add something like a pointer. Selecting the pointer option, and in this case segmented pointer, will allow for the pointer to be added to the note and then directed towards the drawing. The elevation and sectional markers that are apparent on the right hand side of the screen are controlled under the dimension menu. By selecting to show on either the left or the right or both, these dimension lines can be moved from one side to the other and customized accordingly to how your elevations need to be shown. This ability to add notes and dimensions to an annotated elevation, which in turn can then be added to a plan set, should only continue to enhance the design capabilities within SoftPlan.